Днеска заедно со нас имаме двајца професори од Шпанија кои што се овде на Еразмус Размена. Станува збор за програмата Еразмус која што континирано носи професори и студенти на овде во Универзитетот Гоцелчев, меѓутоа и испраќа наши професори и студенти во не, некои европски универзитети. Днеска заедно со нас се двајца професори од Шпанија, Кармен и Хуан, кои што ќе зборуваат за нивното искуство овде во Македонија. Welcome to the University of Gotselchev. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, can you introduce yourself so the audience know who you are? Okay. And my name is uh, Carmen Macias. I come from the University of Murcia, where I work at the Faculty of Education. My field of specialization is English as a foreign language because the main courses I, I teach are addressed to students who are going to be prospective English teachers in primary education. What about you? Well, my name is Juan, as you said before, and we work for the same department. So we both come from the University of Murcia and we work at the Faculty of Education, where we teach English for English primary teachers. And my field of specialization is the use of ICTs in teaching English as a foreign language. Mm -hmm. what, what have you seen so far in, in your I, I suppose your first time here? Yeah, it's our yes, first it time here. Uh, so far, uh, we visited uh, in Campus 2, where the International Relations Office is. And uh, in the same day, we went as well to Campus 4 to, to know the Faculty of Philology, where we had a meeting with the Vice Dean. Mm -hmm. How do you like it so far? What, we really liked it, yeah? Mm -hmm. The buildings, the main buildings, and they look so modern inside mm -hmm. yeah. and people the facilities are very good. kind too and we have learned a lot about the, the classes they have there at the different faculties. Yes. Yeah, we're very kind in, of in the next couple of days you're going to teach here also to our students. Yes. What are the topics are Yeah, as you about? said, uh, tomorrow uh, we have prepared a set of lessons in which we are going to, to try uh, the, the encouragement of students' participation in class by means of a set of communicative activities dealing with different role plays in which they have to uh, interact, represent different communicative situations such as a place to, to get the other, each other better and picture stories as well, so on. I think they are going to, to have fun because we want them to participate actively in class. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose this topic particularly? Because we prefer to teach in a very active way. Mm -hmm. In fact, that's the, the perfect way to encourage a student to, to be active and to develop their communicative skills. And, you know, by dealing with different topics and different situations, I think they will be able to improve their level of English. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, they will also yes. have fun. Yes, yeah. Do you think that there is a possibility for further cooperation between the universities, between the two universities, aside from Erasmus program? Sure, sure. And that's Absolutely. the reason why we are here. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you make any comparison between the two universities, between the University in Spain and here, UGD? Mm -hmm. Well, um, as far as we know so far, um, as we are related to the field of uh, teaching English in primary education, yes. Well, they have, very, they have very similar program regarding the, how they teach similar English in primary education, similar courses, mm -hmm. um, the level of English too, and how the different study programs are organized, and they have a specific programs to be an English pro um, language teacher. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Yes. Right, uh, because you know it's different in other universities. You have to do first a degree in primary education and after that you have to specialize by doing a master program or whatever to become an English teacher. But here you have that specific degree to be the English yes. primary teacher. Mm -hmm. So we both are very similar. Yeah, is, this very your, similar. is this your first Erasmus experience in your career? Mm, no, no, no. It's, not. it's not our first experience. Uh, we've, uh, we've already been to, uh, to Poland two, uh, two years ago. Yeah. To and Croatia. To Croatia as well. What do you, what do you think about Erasmus as, as a concept, as a program? Uh, well, it's the perfect way to improve your level of the foreign language and at the same time to know different cultures, yes. especially when they are so different as it does with um, Macedonian culture and the Spanish yes. one or any Eastern European countries. 
um, very different from Italy, from Spain, from Portugal, yes. or even uh, in the north of Europe. So you can improve your level of English, you can socialize with other people, and at the same time you are adding extra training into your CV, yes. which is really important for your uh, prospective future as a teacher yeah, or whatever. Do, do you have any Macedonian students maybe uh, back at your university? Do you know? Do you have yes, that, in that fact. kind of information? Yes, in at the University of Murcia, yeah, do you have yeah. any students there yeah. from, from Macedonia? Macedonia yeah. No, at the moment, uh, at the moment uh, we, we think we don't have anyone, but mm -hmm. uh, things are going to change, I think, next year. Maybe in the following years, yeah. we yeah. hope to have more students from Macedonia. Yeah. Would, you, would you recommend this university to your students back home? Would you recommend it? Sure. Sure, sure. yes, sure. absolutely. Sure. Uh, why? Um, Especially, uh, maybe because of the culture, mm -hmm. which is completely different. And if you are keen on knowing different cultures um, and you are open-minded, um, you can find out uh, different ways of um, university system. And at the same time, um, um, I don't know how to say, but you can improve your level of English. And I think it makes you um, bring up faster by meeting other people, by experiencing um, other cultures, that's it. Yeah, that's the main thing. At the end, I have to ask you about, about the, the city. How do you like the, the city and the, the country? I, I think it's a, it's a small city in comparison maybe to some of Spain cities. Yeah, this one is small. I mean, it's completely different, the architecture, but uh, we think we've known, um, what we've known so far, uh, we like it. I mean, so at first it was a complete, I mean, it's very different from we we get used to, to know in Spain, but that's what uh, traveling means, yeah. uh, knowing different so cultures, city different architecture, cities. architecture, the layout of the street. Yeah. They are completely different and there are too many contrasts inside the, the yeah. same city and that's what it struck me most, yeah. the different contrast. Yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you for the interview. I wish you all the luck. Oh, thank, thank you very, very much, much for hosting you. us. Thank yes. you.